Once you've logged into your Wix editor, you need to go to your online store to log into the online store system. So instead of um, clicking on our menu system, we have to either get to that page by going our quick select menu and online store, or you can use the button tab over here to go to online store. Close that one. And then this group of images and text is actually an element. Um, so you can see this blue bounding box shows me that this is a full element, not just individual elements. And if I click once, it tells me that this is the online store. And I just need to go into app settings and this little box will come up and then manage store. And then our managing system will come up and we're going to maximize that to show the full screen. Okay, so it starts off on the dashboard um, in the section of orders. So obviously at the moment we haven't put the site live, so there's no orders in there at the moment. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add products and um, add categories, delete categories, take them away, that kind of thing. So I'm going to click on catalog. So um, just underneath catalog, we can see there's products, categories and product types. So I'm currently in products and if I scroll down it shows me that there's 62 products in total and these are all the different products. Okay so if I click into any of these it'll take me into that product. So it'll show me that I've put a name in here, a weight. It's important to always put the exact weight of every item um, well, the roughly exact weight because your shipping cost is based on weight usually. So um, if you have something that's very heavy, the shipping system will know how much that weighs and um, it adds up all the products together that somebody's put in their shopping cart um, and does, it, does the shipping cost based on the weight of all the products. Um, so down here we have a description section as well. If ever you're copying and pasting text um, into this section, you need to clean it first. So to clean it, you use something like Notepad, which is basically most computers have. Um, so you would just copy from another website, paste it into Notepad, select all, oh, sorry, we'll go edit, select all, and then we would go edit, copy and then we would go and paste it in and all that does is clean out any formatting any HTML um, settings that it might have come from that um, previous website that you copied it off so it's just all about cleaning that text you can also pop um, images and videos into this section as well um, so if I wanted to pop in an image I would go to the little tree icon so this just looks like a little image and then I would need to actually host this image somewhere on my website. So um, you can set up a separate hidden page in your Wix website that just hosts images. Copy the URL of that image and pop it in here. Um, so it's a little bit of a different process, but usually you don't actually need to pop any kind of image in here because you've already got your main image here and you've also got gallery images here, so which is the subsequent images after the hero image. Okay, but that's just in case you wanted to put like a sizing chart or something in here that you really didn't want to put in the gallery section. You can also add a video in here, which is really mm. handy to be able to do. Um, these days, video content is really great to advance your ranking in um, search engines like Google. So I just click the little add media and I can choose from several different ones. Um, and yeah, depending on which type you've got, um, you can just embed it in there. Okay. And so I'm not quite sure. I think it might be, hmm, actually I have no idea. Maybe, maybe quick time that you would choose if you were doing, um, a YouTube video in there. Um, I will actually check that out for you though. <laughs> And there's different things in here if you want to autoplay, if you want the video to loop, um, that type of thing. So obviously you just have to check through these and just make sure um, you know, you're doing the right thing for whatever you want your video to look like and if you want it to start as soon as they open the page. Okay, and then you would just press insert. Um, 
you can also change your font and everything in here so if I select all that text I can change my font and my size of my font here I can add bold italics underlines I can justify the text I can add bullet points numbers I can do an indent um, this one cleans up any messy code this one changes the color of the text and this one changes the highlight of the text um, so that's basically um, the, the simple editor of that Now down the bottom here um, it allows us to select what categories it's in so it doesn't have to be just in each product doesn't have to be just in one category so I've put it into new arrivals organic baby and kids clothing um, as there's a whole section of that and then the subcategory of just girls as well so to change them to delete categories you just go in here and tick or untick the ones that you want and then press OK um, so coming along here um, I'll just show you um, attributes so if you have something that you want people to be able to know but you don't necessarily want to put it on the, the main um, text section you can just pop it under attributes so you might sort of want to say oh it's caution so you might add a new attribute so you go to manage attributes and put in fabric and then you might say this one's cotton but at the moment I think it's just fine to put in brand these ones are automatically in there so I've just said all right well seeing we're selling lots of different things in this store I've put brands under here we also have options as well so um, if you have different sizes of one available product, then you would put them in here. So you can add um, new different types of options and then you can also do different sorts of combinations as well. Okay. So the next one we have is gallery. So this is just where you would put other images um, in there as well so if I click on upload images it just asks you to choose the file instead of having to get a URL of that image you just upload it into this okay and you can also click on preview gallery as well um, files if you wanted to be able to sell files online you can do that through this section um, sorry yes sell or they can also download something for free you know within the product you can do that as well um, this is where you would adjust your tax and shipping if you need to um, if there was something for example a gift voucher that you wanted them to for anyone around the world to be able to purchase you could choose a fixed rate and, or free something like that just so that like if somebody is purchasing from somewhere else in the world um, they're not going to get a shipping charge if it's something that you just need to email to them like a gift voucher okay but we usually use it on use global settings okay and then we also have related products so um, this is a blue skirt and so I've teamed that up with um, a white and blue t-shirt that matches that skirt so you just put in any products that that product might go with and then on your site that'll show up down the bottom as a related product and you can put as many as you like in there uh, embed product actually means if you want to put this particular product on somebody else's website to be able to sell it from their website and then you pay them like a commission this is what embed product means okay so you would copy all this code send that to them they would put that on their website and then somebody can actually purchase through that website and it's completely linked to this store so the stock if they purchase it it comes straight out of your store okay alrighty um, also over here um, we've just got our price and then we have availability as well so if you wanted to um, put loads of stock in but you haven't got it in stock physically yet you could load it all in and then but make sure it's you could put it on disable so that um, it's not visible in the store yet and as soon as it arrives in your warehouse or home you put it back to enabled you also got stock control here as well so if I click on manage um, so say I've got actually got um, size options in here so I didn't really need to change the stock control in here I did it through the options um, but if you had a product that there's just um, it's this one product there's no variations of it then you could either put unlimited for something that you can continually make manufacture or you know that kind of thing 
Or if you say, right, I've only got two of these in stock, then you just pop two in here and put your dot up here. And then you can say, all right, I want you to let me know when there's only one left, so that means I need to make another one or order another one. Um, or, you know, or you can say, just tell me when it runs out of stock, so that's why it's on zero at the moment. So I'm just going to take that off. Okay. All right, and then we need to choose either save or save and close. So because I'm finished doing everything in here, I'm going to click save and close. Okay. So you can do any editing in any of these products. You can also duplicate a product. Um, I think. So if I tick on this one. Actually, I think I have to go into it to duplicate it. Yes. So if I want to duplicate a product so that it can it keeps the same options and things so that you don't have to create new sizes and everything again. I can just open the product that I, want, that I want to duplicate and just go up here and click duplicate. Okay. And then I would make any changes. So I'd change the image, I'd change the name, I'd change the price. Maybe the description is exactly the same. Maybe everything else is exactly the same, whatever you need. Okay. And then I would click save and close or just save. So I'm going to go save and close. Um, but I know that I've just created a new one there. So to delete that one, I'm just going to tick it and then click delete. Okay, yes, delete. Now if I want to create a new product from scratch, I just need to go to new product and then enter all the information. So it's that simple. Um, so next we're going to move on to categories. Um, I don't wish to save the changes because we don't need a new product. So um, this is the categories that I've set up for this particular store. So um, these ones are um, root categories. So this one and this one and these ones. And then these are subcategories. Okay. Um, and then so if I close that one. You can see that because these are all on the same level, you know that they're in one level. And even though this one is the only one with a plus on it, they're still all the same level. It's just that this is the only one that has subcategories. Okay? Um, and remember, you can put any products that you like in any of them. Um, so they don't have to, you don't have to create um, a product again to be able to put it in another category. Um, I've put a category image for each of them just so it's a little bit easier for people to choose when they go to the website which um, what, what is in that category. And you can also click on here um, to have a look at what products are actually in these this category. And I can also make changes here. Um, so for example, if I didn't want to open each individual product and tape them out of that particular category, I could go in here and then I could remove all, okay? Uh, and I could create a new product from here as well. All right, go back to general. If you wanted to put a description for the category in here, you could, um, but I've chosen to just have an image and the name of the category in our web store. If you want to create a new root category, which is these ones are the root categories and these ones are the subcategories, you would just click new root category. Or if I wanted to create a new subcategory, I would click on the root category that I want to make um, the subcategory under and then I would click new subcategory. Um, you can also do a sub sub. So if I wanted to create three categories within boys, I could do that as well. Um, and in the same token, if you want to delete one, you just click on it and press delete. Usually if there's products assigned to it, it might sort of say, oh, look, you can't um, delete this because it has products assigned to it. And then you would have to go in and unassign those products using this section. Okay. Um, product types. Oh, so this is um, what I was talking about with the attributes. Um, so if you wanted to add different things in there, you could. Um, 